Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your new nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one needs help with, if you have questions about ingredients or formulations or true skin health products, longevity formulations, please give us a call at 844-236-6010. We'd love to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, likewise, 844 844- 236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the bright side Ben team. If you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneurially minded, if the entrepreneur lifestyle appeals to you, working out of your home, making your own, making your own hours, working out of your living room, out of your bedroom, right off your computer, making as much or as little money as you like, working as hard or as easy as you like. That's what it means to be an entrepreneur. You, you are your own boss. And I personally have been an entrepreneur since the early 1990s, since the late 1980s. And I love it. I love not working for anybody, working for myself. If that appeals to you, you need to check out the longevity business. If you've benefited from health or from nutritional supplements, if your health has benefited, benefited from nutritional supplements, or you or your family have enjoyed the benefits of weight loss and getting off your prescription drugs and having more energy by getting on the longevity products, pay it forward. Help other folks while you're making money. Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. You can, If you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, you can do that as well. Offer a one-time $25 fee. Call 866-735-2470 or click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Well, welcome back to The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. Once again, we're talking about the short fats as opposed to the long fats or the medium fats. Fats come in three sizes, long, medium, and short. We spent time talking about the long fats. Those are the main ones, the ones we hear about the most anyway. The long chain fats, your essential fatty acids are long chain fats. We talked about the medium chain triglycerides, medium chain fats found in coconut oil and palm oil and butter. And then we started talking yesterday about the short chain fatty acids or the short fats. These are tiny little molecules so unbelievably valuable, unbelievably important for uh, for health, just phenomenally health relevant. It's a shame most people don't know about the power of these short chain fatty acids or how to leverage them for good health. There's three short chain fatty acids. We've been talking about the most well-known one, and that is the, uh, the one that's called acetic acid. It's not most people don't know about acetic acid, but most people do know about apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has gotten a reputation. Oh, it's it's been it's gotten a repu- it's been known about for centuries, for thousands of years, really. But it started getting a reputation in the 1990s when Patricia Bragg, who uh, uh, produces something called Bragg's apple cider vinegar, you guys probably have heard of that. Patricia Bragg wrote a book uh, somewhere in the early 1990s called 
apple cider vinegar, the miracle health system. And it is a classic book, really easy to read only about a hundred pages or so. And, uh, got all kinds of good information. If you want a, a good, succinct book on apple cider vinegar for your library, get Apple Cider Vinegar Miracle Health System by Patricia Bragg, B-R-A-G-G. -G. Acetic acid is the main active ingredient in apple cider vinegar. I say the main active ingredient, but there's a lot of reasons why apple cider vinegar is beneficial. And while acetic acid is probably the most important ingredient in apple cider vinegar, there's lots of other things in apple cider vinegar. There's dozens of different ways apple cider vinegar benefits your health. It improves energy levels. It's important for detoxification. It's got antimicrobial benefits. It can help you keep your skin clear if you're dealing with acne. It's got anti-aging benefits. We're going to cover all of these various subjects. But the most well-known benefits of apple cider vinegar involve appetite, weight loss, and blood sugar control. And there's several reasons for these features, but most importantly, it involves the role that acetic acid plays in energy production, how energy is produced, how energy is energy metabolism inside the cell. And I want to get into too much biochemistry, but you can think of acetic acid, the active ingredient in apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, by the way, is right around 5% acetic acid or so. It's like an acetic acid solution. A lot of times people will ask, oh, can I dilute my apple cider vinegar because it is kind of strong and acidic. Personally, I love the acidic, that acidic kind of tingle that you get when you do apple cider vinegar. I find it very energizing. But if you're dealing with, uh, if you have esophageal problems or you have uh, a, a stomach problems, maybe, maybe you're producing too much acid or, and most people are not producing too much stomach acid, but whatever, for whatever reason, if you don't like the, the strong acidity of apple cider vinegar, there's nothing wrong with diluting it. You're still going to get the acetic acid and you're still going to get the nutrients in there. So you can dilute your, uh, you can do, dilute your apple cider vinegar if you like. Uh, the, apple, the acetic acid in the apple cider vinegar is part of the energy production scheme inside of a cell. So it's likely that energy production can be jump-started by ingesting apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is acetic acid is a starting point for energy production inside a cell. And this makes apple cider vinegar an ideal tonic for anyone who's looking to jack up their energy levels, especially first thing in the morning. I do apple cider vinegar first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, and I'll, sometimes I'll do it in the middle of the day if I'm feeling a little fatigued. Just to... Just a, uh, as soon as it hits your mouth, practically, or as soon as it gets into your stomach, you can sort of feel that your body is just getting more energized. It's been recommended for improving athletic, athletic performance. The cycling website, lovingthebike.com, which is a really cool website if you're interested in, in, um, in cycling. Uh, lovingthebike.com recommends it for leg cramps, and they suggest mixing one tablespoonful of apple cider vinegar with three ounces of water and a couple tablespoons of honey or fruit juice to improve the taste. They also recommend using it as a mucus thinner, as an anti-phlegm tonic. As we said yesterday, acetic acid slash apple cider vinegar is also very important for stabilizing blood sugar. If you're diabetic, you definitely want to be using apple cider vinegar. It can promote fat burning, again, likely because of its role in supporting cellular energy production. That is turning fat into ATP. That's really what cellular energy is about. It's turning fat into ATP. ATP is considered to be the energy currency of the body. Energy travels along in ATP molecules. AT, that's the function of what's called the Krebs cycle. It turns fat into ATP. Regular use of apple cider vinegar has been shown to improve blood fats and lower blood sugar, probably because it jacks up energy metabolism. If you're on a statin drug, there's some evidence that apple cider vinegar can help lower your blood cholesterol if that's something you want to do. Now, you know, I'm not a big believer in lowering blood cholesterol as a health strategy, but if you're on a statin drug, you may be able to wean yourself off the statin drug or lower your dose of the statin drug. And as I've said so many times before, if you are on a statin drug, if you're on any prescription drug, your number one health challenge should be to figure out how to gradually wean yourself off that drug. And taking a lower dose of a prescription drug is always going to be in your interest. Using apple cider vinegar may allow you to lower your dose or even completely eliminate your statin drug if you're so, if that's what you desire to do. I said many times before that trying to prevent heart disease by manipulating cholesterol levels with pharmaceutical medication or any other strategy is pretty silly. But Nonetheless, if that's something you want to do or your doctor is suggesting that you do, you might be able to achieve that goal with less medication by using a tablespoonful or two or three of apple cider vinegar on a daily basis. All right. 
Time to take a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got lines open, and uh, we'll take your phone calls when we come back. Or actually, in our next... Uh, third- our- Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. We've got news stories and blog posts at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, along with all the longevity products and a join the team link that you can click on if you want to start a longevity business. You can click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866-735-2470. You can purchase products off the website or by calling 866-735-2470 as well. Also, I'd like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist, our new two new Truth Cleansers, Truth Hyaluronic Acid Honey Cleanser, and our Truth peppermint salicylic cleanser, both made with amino acid surfactants, amino acid cleanser, uh, an amino acid cleanser, I should say, made with taurine, one of the skin's most underappreciated amino acids. Taurine has got wound healing properties. Taurine has got uh, moisturizing properties. Taurine is actually delivered to the skin and deposited in the skin as you wash your face, which is kind of neat. Most surfactants or detergents are harsh. Our taurine surfactant is not only very mild, but also delivers taurine, one of the more underappreciated and less well-known amino acids, not just for the skin, but for, for the body in general. We have talked about taurine in the past. You'll also get hyaluronic acid and peppermint and salicylic acid. So not only will you be cleansing your skin, you'll also be anti-aging your skin and softening your skin as well. That's how I like to formulate. When uh, I'm formulating a product, I'm looking to get multiple health benefits, and all our truth treatment products are healing products as well as anti-aging products. You can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, we got plenty of lines open at 844-236-6010. If you've tried to call in in the past and you've gotten left on hold, now's the time to give us a shout, 844-236-6010. We're talking about apple cider vinegar and the active ingredient in apple cider vinegar acetic acid. If you're interested in learning more about apple cider vinegar, my favorite books, my four favorite books on apple cider vinegar are Patricia Bragg's book, Apple Cider Vinegar, Miracle Health System. Dr. Penny Stanway has a book, Stanway is S-T-A-N-W-A-Y, The Miracle of Apple Cider Vinegar. Cal Ori, O-R-E-Y, Cal Ori has a book called The Healing Powers of Apple of uh, Vinegar. That's not just on apple cider vinegar. We've been talking about apple cider vinegar, but a lot of different types of vinegar can give you health benefits, although the most famous one is uh, apple cider vinegar, as we'll talk about here a little bit uh, later on today or maybe tomorrow. Apple cider vinegar has got multiple health benefits aside from the acetic acid. And then uh, Cynthia Holzapfel, H-O-L-Z-A-P-F-E-L, has a book called Apple Cider Vinegar for Weight Loss and Good Health. And those are my four favorite books on apple cider vinegar, if you want to check them out. So apple cider vinegar is a health tonic. The benefits are not a fad. They're not a fashion. It seems like they would be a a scam. There's just so many health benefits that are linked to uh, apple cider vinegar. But because acetic acid has got so many interesting properties... It really is true. Apple cider vinegar has multiple health benefits. There's lots of reasons why apple cider vinegar uh, is a a very functional health tonic. It's antibacterial. It's anti-infective. It's antioxidant. It helps support blood blood glucose, uh, uh, blood sugar control. It can help modify blood fats and cholesterol, as we talked about before we went went, uh, to our break. Just got so many wonderful health benefits for something that will cost you pennies a day to get the benefits of. It's weight loss. It's anti-cancer. That's another interesting benefit. There's not a lot of studies that have been uh, that focus on the uh, anti-cancer benefits. By the way, I'm going to be doing a talk. Not that I want to digress here, but I meant to mention this earlier. I'll be doing a talk at the Cancer Prevention Convention this Sunday, August 19th. Uh, nine, uh, the convention goes from 9 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. You can get tickets if you're in the Dearborn, Michigan area. It's going to be uh, at the Marriott in Dearborn, Michigan. Uh, If you're in the area, you want to get tickets at TicketTaylor.com, the Cancer Prevention Convention. I'll be doing a talk there. Uh, And then Ty Bollinger, my friend Ty Bollinger, will be doing a talk. Daryl Wolf will be doing a talk. A bunch of of really interesting and and very uh, well-informed healthcare professionals will be speaking. You might want to attend that if you're in the Michigan area. Anyway, apple cider vinegar has got anti-cancer benefits, which is kind of interesting. 
Now, cancer is not necessarily uh, a, uh, a cell problem as much as it's the environment that the cell is sitting in. I'm not necessarily a big believer in killing cancer cells, but nonetheless, it has to be mentioned at least that uh, according to several studies, uh, as particularly esophageal cancer, which is a really hideous form of cancer, uh, can, folks can, who are dealing with that kind of cancer, any kind of cancer, may be able to benefit from using apple cider vinegar. It's not definitive for sure, but there are at least four or five studies that talk about using uh, fruit vinegars, apple cider vinegar, as a quote positive cancer or ha- for their po- quote positive anti-cancer effect in humans as well as animals, and that needs to be mentioned. Other properties include appetite suppressant, reduce fatigue, tonic uh, as an energy tonic, preventing osteoporosis. That's another health benefit that uh, apple cider vinegar may provide. It's just an incredible, incredible health tonic for that you can uh, achieve, get many health benefits from for just pennies a day. Why is apple cider vinegar so absolutely phenomenal? Well, the acetic acid in apple cider vinegar has a very interesting property. Chemicals, molecules in nature can be distinguished by how they dissolve in things, by their solubility, what they dissolve in. Two main solubility distinctions are oil and water. Chemicals or molecules can be said to be oil-soluble or water-soluble. This is a basic fundamental chemical polarity. In other words, chemicals can be distinguished by whether they dissolve in oil or whether they dissolve in water. Most of you guys have heard oil and water don't mix. The corollary of oil and water don't mix is like dissolves like. So oil and water don't mix, but like dissolves like. So oil-soluble stuff dissolves in oil. Water-soluble stuff dissolves in water, and this is a primal distinction in chemistry. However, there's a third class of molecules, and that is, based on their chemical structure, they actually dissolve in both oil and water, at least partially, partially dissolve in oil, partially dissolve in water. And this makes these molecules very, very interesting and very, very valuable. They have the light and volatile properties of water-soluble molecules. They, they're very uh, light, low weight, low molecular weight, lightweight, you could say. And they're also volatile. They evaporate very quickly. And they can dissolve water-soluble substances, particularly electrolytes like potassium and magnesium and water-soluble vitamins like B vitamins. All of these require a watery medium, but at the same time, they can also dissolve through certain oils. They can penetrate through fatty materials, like, for example, cell membranes. So these kinds of molecules that are water-soluble and fat-soluble can go through cell membranes. They can enter into cells, and they could do a lot of work inside the cells. These molecules are said to be ampy. Philic, ampy meaning both, philic meaning loving. Hydrophilic materials dissolve in water. Lipophilic materials dissolve in lipid or fat. And amphiphilic dissolve in both. And these amphiphilic molecules have a binary nature that allows them to get into cells. And this makes them very, very powerful and very, very health relevant because they don't like water-soluble molecules ordinarily will just stop at the cell membrane. They won't be able to traverse it. And oil-soluble molecules may be able to traverse the cell membrane, but they can't really do a lot of activity inside the cell or as much activity inside the cell. This is why acetic acid, like other short-chain fatty acids, can deliver such a wide spectrum of benefits. It can cross into the cell membrane, it can enter into the cell, and it can be very, very functional, especially at the level of energy production. And this makes them wonderfully health relevant and wonderfully valuable. So it's not a fad. It's not a fashion. It's a real deal. Apple cider vinegar, which we will continue talking about. We'll finish talking about tomorrow on the bright side. We're coming back with your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. Water is the... On the bright side, pharmacist Ben here, and we do have lines open, lots of lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about apple cider vinegar, acetic acid, health challenges you or a loved one may be confronting, ingredients, formulations, or a common or success story, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and we will get your calls here in just a moment. A couple of interesting stories. This one from the journal Immunity. Chemicals found in vegetables prevent colon cancer in mice. Colon cancer is a leading cause of death by cancer. And it's absolutely miserable. Well, all cancers are miserable, but colon cancer is just unspeakably miserable. Chemicals produced by vegetables such as kale, cabbage, and broccoli could help 
to maintain a healthy gut and prevent colon cancer. A new study from the Francis Crick Institute shows. The research shows that mice fed a diet rich in indole-3-carbinol, also known as I3C, which is produced when we eat uh, the cruciferous vegetables, that is kale, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. This I3C is produced by the action of gut bacteria on the vegetables and I3C. As I3C levels go up, gut inflammation and colon cancer rates go down. I3C is also very important, by the way, for estrogen metabolism. And there may also be a relationship between estrogen metabolism and colon cancer. So for folks who are dealing with uh, any uh, women who are dealing with any kind of estrogen health issues, these, all these same benefits may apply. When mice were uh, switched to an I3C enriched diet, they ended up with significantly fewer tumors, which were also more benign. I3C is available as a supplement, by the way. There's a similar supplement called DIM that some of you guys may have heard of. I prefer I3C. I prefer Brussels sprouts and broccoli and uh, the cruciferous vegetables. The cruciferous, cruciferous vegetables are so, so, so darn medicinal. It's almost like there are multiple, there, it's almost like there are multiple nutrient. I don't want to say multiple vitamin, although there are wonderful vitamins that you'll get, particularly the B vitamins as well as vitamin E and some of the fatty vitamins in these cruciferous vegetables. We should be doing cruciferous vegetables every day every day. Now, I know some people will tell you that uh, the cruciferous vegetables are to, are to be avoided if you're dealing with thyroid problems. I don't buy that. If you are dealing with thyroid problems and you want to avoid the cruciferous vegetables because some naturopath or alternative practitioner told you that, you might want to try steaming, which is a good idea anyway to steam your cruciferous vegetables. You can release some of those nutrients. Always use butter with your cruciferous vegetables too. You'll release some of these fatty nutrients, all the good stuff uh, the uh, I3C and the DIM and something called sulforaphane. All these, uh, these fatty phytonutrients are a little bit difficult for the body to process, especially if you're dealing with a gallbladder problem or, or an intestinal problem. If you're taking your cruciferous vegetables or eating your cruciferous vegetables to help you uh, because you have an intestinal problem, you may not be getting the benefit because you have to, um, you have to be able to process these fatty substances out of, the, out of your broccoli and out of your Brussels sprouts. So using butter or coconut oil or steaming them slightly and steaming them slightly can be helpful for helping release some of those fatty nutrients as well as the pigments. Long story short, make sure you're doing cruciferous vegetables, if not on a daily basis, at least several times a week. Daily basis is probably best. And you know what? You can do your cruciferous vegetables for breakfast. In fact, cruciferous vegetables make an ideal breakfast. I've said many times on this program that breakfast is way overrated. Skipping breakfast is not a bad idea. You'll continue developing ketones throughout the night because you fasted throughout the night. If you extend that fasting period, you'll actually go into ketosis or ke make, make more ketones. And that's why you get, you stay energetic longer if you skip breakfast. Some people, some people get tired. If you're one of those folks that can't skip breakfast, have a little broccoli for breakfast. Have some broccoli and butter for breakfast with lots of salt and a little apple cider vinegar for that matter. I was just reading an article here about, uh, about skipping breakfast. I don't, I'm just going to read it today. I can't seem to find it. I'll, I'll hopefully I'll grab it here uh, in our break if I can find this. But anyway, skipping breakfast, going into extending the period that your body is making ketones can definitely be health have health benefits. If you can't do it, use some cruciferous vegetables. If you absolutely positively need some protein, throw crack an egg on your cruciferous vegetables. Make a broccoli omelet for breakfast. Speaking of the colon and speaking of intestinal problems from the University of Massachusetts Medical School, cannabis, that is marijuana, linked to relieving intestinal inflammation. Reports from cannabis users that the, that the drug reduces the symptoms of IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, may be explained by new research from the University of Massachusetts Medical School showing that endocannabinoids, that is the kind of, the kind of cannabinoids that are made from omega fats inside the body, help control and prevent intestinal inflammation in mice. How do you like that? This is from the Journal of Clinical Investigation. There's a lot, quote, there's a lot of anecdotal evidence about the benefits of medical marijuana, but there hasn't been a lot of science to back it up, unquote, says Beth A. McCormick, PhD and professor of microbiology at the UMass Medical School. For the first time, we have an understanding of the molecules involved in the process and how endocannabinoids and cannabinoids control inflammation. 
This gives clinical researchers a new drug to target and explore that treat patients that suffer from inflammatory bowel disease. They, they, notice they don't say anything about decriminalizing it and making it available to everybody. They say making it available as a drug, a prescription drug that you have to go to the doctor for. This is an herb, a plant that grows out of the ground. And uh, they recognize that it's got medicinal value, but they still want to control it as a drug. Of course, there's a, a bunch of states now that, where you can get medical marijuana um, over the counter. But it's a, if you're dealing with IBD, intestinal bowel, intestinal bowel disease or inflammatory bowel disease, I should say, you may want to think about using cannabinoids or medical marijuana. Although smoking is definitely not a great idea, you might want to eat your marijuana. I don't, I never recommend smoking anything, really, whether it's marijuana or cigarettes or anything else, definitely not a good idea. But uh, if you do have a bowel problem, IBD, cramping, bloating, any kind of bowel discomfort, you might want to consider using, in addition to your, uh, your cruciferous vegetables, a little cannabis, at least according to this uh, article in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's say good morning to Anthony in California. What's up, Anthony? Welcome to the Bright Side. You mean Tony or Anthony? Anyway, I mean this is the Anthony. Co- oh, Anthony, Tony. What's up? How you doing, my yeah. friend? Well, pretty good, thank you. I have a technical question. I have some DHA, a DHEA complex. I've been taking it alone for years, and now a friend gave me something that it, it's DHE 25 milligrams, but it has six other additives to it, Yohimba. Know, but the top additive, which has the most volume, 500 milligrams, is Avena Sativa Oats. Oh, how interesting. That's one extract from Green Tops. And I was wondering, does that have gluten in it? Or gliad? Uh, it probably doesn't. There is some gluten. Okay. There is, uh, you know, there's not, there's not a lot of gluten in oats, but there's something similar to, uh, to yeah, gluten gliad. in. What's that? Gliadin, I think, was what. Uh, well, it's not gliadin either, but there's something similar to. Okay. There might be some gliadin actually in, in Avena, uh, but there's similar stuff in oats. Oats is, you know, oats gets a lot of interesting press because of uh, General Mills and and these uh, these grain companies, and a lot of folks are under the impression that oats are somehow you know, gluten. They, they're not going to cause the same problems that uh, that grain other grains will, like barley and rye and oat and wheat, uh, barley and rye and wheat, right. which contain gluten. But you know, you can tell that oats are going to be a problem by what they do to the saucepan when you make your, your oatmeal. Do you ever see what happens when you leave your oatmeal in the saucepan yeah, a little bit I, too long? I, I to, yes, I'm a great oatmeal eater, but I cut it completely, and I'm just wondering whether this little extract is going to... No, uh, it's not going it, it to... It probably won't have a problem. You probably won't have a problem. But if you're doing, if you just want DHEA, you should just get DHEA. Tony, hang on a second. Let's finish up when we come back. It's an interesting subject here. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. We'll be back on the Bright Side right after this. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open 844 236 6010 is our number. We're talking to Tony in California. Hey, Tony, you there? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, oats and gluten is really interesting subject. We, we have this idea about gluten, not you, Tony, but just generally in the, in the culture. There's this idea that you get off of gluten and you're all, all is good in the world. Gluten is just one of a thousand different plant molecules that can cause digestive problems. So oats technically are gluten-free, aside from the fact, by the way, that a lot of oat products are manufactured in the same facilities that process wheat and barley and rye and gluten, microscopic particles of gluten can still get in your oat products. But let's just say pure oats, if you're dealing with pure oats, they are technically gluten-free, but that doesn't mean you're out of the woods. Because there's other things in oats that can cause problems. And you could tell by looking at your oatmeal, if you leave it in pot in the saucepan too long, uh, right. what it's going to do to your digestive system. If you leave your oatmeal in the saucepan and just let it sit there for an hour or two, you'll see it, it turns into a big solid mass, right? That big solid oh, mass is, is a reflection of what's happening at a microscopic level inside your digestive system. That big solid mass in your saucepan is occurring in your intestine too, and that's not a good thing. 
So oats can definitely, definitely wreak havoc on intestinal health, even if they are gluten-free. They do contain other substances, avenins, technically speaking, that can cause digestive issues. So uh, I, wouldn't, I would personally, even though oats do have some wonderful things in them, you got to be a little bit careful with oats. Yes, oats are, are just absolutely jam-packed with nutritional value, but they can be a problem for certain people, and you want to be really careful with oats. Um, and that's true about all grains, by the way. Wheat is, is wonderfully nutritional, as is barley and rye, but you got to be careful because some people will have a problem with the gluten. And that's the way it is with certain foods and in, nutri- in the world of nutrition. Just because a food is good for you or a food has, I should say, because a food has good things in it doesn't necessarily mean that food is good for you because of things like gluten and other substances. Now, as far as your, your supplement goes, I don't think you're going to have to worry about avenins in the Avena extract. But why would you need that? Why don't you just take straight DHEA? Uh, well, I think it's sold as a substitute for Viagra. Or uh, uh, yeah, essentially, that's probably yeah, right. Enhancing your your uh, intimate moments. And, and it's products uh, yeah, like I've been, this. I've been, I've been but, hang on, let me just say this real quick. DHEA. It's products. It's products like this one that make supplement the nutritional supplement business so scammy. And this is why nutritional supplements have such a bad reputation is because companies will say things like, oh, this Avena is going to help you with your erections or with your sex life. Horse hockey. That's a bunch of baloney. And it's just rude and it's mean spirited. What's the name of this company, by the way? It's, it's Swanson's. Uh, guy, friend of this mine is dis- six six disgusting. It just one. It just pisses me off. It makes me angry because this is why this is why this is why supplements get such a bad rap, and this is why the supplement business gets such a bad rap because of companies like this that will throw a vena sativa in there and tell you it's good for your sex life. Horse Can hockey. Can I tell you the other extract? The other extract. Yo, Hembean. What else? Uh, uh, sarsaparilla root, soft palmetto. Nettle, mean, root, mean spirited, anti humanity, rude. Nettle? It's just rude. Now, DHEA, on the other hand, that one will definitely, uh, especially if you're deficient in DHEA, that will definitely help you uh, with your sex life. Uh, but you got to be well, careful been, with that I've one. I've been taking 50 milligrams forever uh, Yeah, DHEA because it's cheap as dirt. It's really cheap, and it's very effective. You don't want to take too much DHEA, um, especially if you're younger and you're already making DHEA. If you're older, it's not as bad as much of a problem. Uh, but you know what? I, the 80, listeners, I'm 83, right? I know, and you're a pretty powerful 83, Tony. Uh, I, I wish the listeners right. could see what an 83-year-old man could look like if they could see you, Tony. Tony you know, is, you a need bi- to, is there such a thing as a rating for, uh, for physical uh, age? Because uh, I feel like I'm 50. But I'm experiencing a little age discrimination. I went back for the job that I had 40 years ago as a building inspector, and I'm at the top of the list, but I've been waiting for two and a half months for them. Tell them you want to arm wrestle them, Tony. I would, yeah. (laughs) There should be be a way to rate. You you or Dr. Wallach should have a rating where you could reset your age. All all somebody has to do is look at you, Tony. I wish I could describe how – I wish I was good at describing. Tony's about 6'3", right, Tony? Weighs about 220. I'm better better looking than I was last year. You saw me a year ago. And a really good-looking guy. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) And smart, too. I'm learning to use my iPhone. I'll send you a picture. Yeah, you should send a picture because you know what, Tony, you're you can be an insp- you're an inspiration to me. I mean, I'm a lot younger than you, but you're still an inspiration to me because that's what's possible. We don't have to fall apart when we get older. I mean, we consider that as we get older, it's just normal to just deteriorate, but but it doesn't have to be that way. The human body is capable of so much more uh, power and strength and health and resilience than we give it credit for. At the age of 83, you can still be vital and strong, as, as Tony is and a lot I'm of people. I'm counting on reversing that. I'm reversing that back down to about 50, I hope. You want to go back down to 50? Yeah, I think I'm What would really... you tell somebody? Let me, let me ask you something, Tony. Because, you know, in a way, you know more about health than I do. I know a lot about the technical stuff and the chemistry <laughs> stuff, but you know about the actual livingness of it. What would you tell somebody who's 80 or in their late 70s, who's dreading getting older? What would you tell them about what they could do, what's possible? Well, I, I'm doing it right now with a 92-year-old man who's handling my investments. What's that? 92-year-old guy. I have a 92-year-old man who's an ex-choral director who's now getting a lot of people involved in an investment scam or some kind of a thing. It's a small amount, so, but he's 92 years old, and he's taking care of himself. He's driving. He's doing fine. And That's I've awesome. got him on longevity just in the last few days. How, ago. So, how long have you been doing longevity? Me, but just since 98. Uh, so about 20 since, years uh, you've been well, doing the So, yeah, since I was 78. 
Uh, I've been taking minerals since I was uh, since 1998 when I bought this mobile home. But yeah, only four years, and I'm doing fine. You've only been doing longevity for four years. Yes. Okay, I but thought I think I, I, I've regressed in age about ten years at least. I, my, I had everything. I lost massive are you, osteoporosis. Are you doing the? Uh, are you distributing it as well? Well, I, I'm not. I told myself I wasn't going to do that till I was 200 pounds, and I'm still 240. I told you I was plateauing, but I, I figured out why. I, I've got. I've been taking in a lot of gluten and uh, stuff that I thought was gluten free. It was not. So, I, and also I, I have a cortisol problem. I'm sure. Well, whatever you're yes, doing, sir. you're doing a, you're doing a great job, Tony, and uh, getting, you're I'm an inspiration to me. That's for sure. Well, well, thank you very much. All right. Anything else well, going on? Absolutely. No, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, and thank say you. hi to your son for me. Tony's son is the editor. Well, yeah, right. Of yeah, Cell, sure. uh, one of my That's favorite true. journals. Cell. So. Uh, eukaryotic. Eukaryotic Cell, I believe it is. Uh, eukaryotic. That's right. Oh, eukaryotic. Is that, is, yeah, that, eukaryotic. That's the one he invented. Yeah, that's what he started. Okay, good. All right, Tony. Thank okay. you so much for your call. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sure. Bye. All right. Yeah, I know a lot about the chemistry. I, it's true about the biochemistry of the cell and biochemistry of the bo- the body. But folks who are actually living testimony, they're the ones who are the inspiration. They they actually teach me and inspire me and hope inspire you. There's so much more we're capable of, folks. And if you're on a prescription drug or if your body's falling apart, if you had a heart attack or a stroke. Please understand that it is in the body's nature to heal itself. The body is a healing and renewing system. The body you have today didn't exist yesterday. It didn't exist last week. It didn't exist a year ago because it's constantly uh, renewing itself and and regenerating itself. It's constantly turning over our bones, our liver, our skin, our digestive tract. It's constantly turning over. And this is the testimony of the the most amazing testimony of, of the healing powers that are built into our bodies. No matter what your health challenge is your body can heal itself but you got to change you got to do something different if you do the same thing over and over again you're going to get the same thing you've always gotten but if you change the way you live your life that is by adding an exercise program by adding nutritional supplements by changing the way you eat by eating less calories by eating better foods by eating more vegetables by using more juices and and soups by employing all the health strategies we talk about on the bright side every day no matter what your health challenge is. It's in the body's nature to heal and renew itself. And to me, that is the most inspiring and powerful message. As we get older, as we age, even if you're not frankly and blatantly sick, as we age, as the body goes through the aging process, it does not have to break down and it does not have to deteriorate. And we're all going to age. Chronological aging is, is just inevitable, but we do not have to break down. Our bodies do not have to fall apart. And that's what we're looking for. We want to, we're going to age, but we want to age gracefully. You don't want to have to deal with a chronic degenerative disease, and you don't want to have to deal with accelerated degeneration. How do you get away from it? Well, from a physical perspective, add a nutritional supplement program into your life. Start using the Longevity products. Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Change the way you eat. And most importantly, when it comes to changing the way you eat, eat less calories. Make sure you're practicing all the psychological strategies, the mental strategies, and emotional strategies, and spiritual strategies. And just watch what happens. You'll be able to leverage our, your God-given ability and the body's God-given ability to heal and renew and regenerate itself, no matter what your health challenge is. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for all our truth skin health products. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 